Howdy there, beautiful people. It's Spencer Woods, the real estate cowboy. As always, we got Chili and Stump. Chili is being a bad dog and he's out in the woods running around. Stump is doing his job and making sure that he's here, present, and looking charming as ever. Go ahead, buddy, take a, take a seat there. Um, we are super excited to be here today. We are at 114 Dickvale Road in Peru, Maine. A really awesome four season, 23 plus or minus acre cabin here. Uh, 2,500 plus feet of water frontage on Spears Stream. We're gonna get to, we got a 12 by 24 insulated four season cabin with electric water. Uh, 300 plus foot driveway out here with gated access. Really awesome private getaway for recreational and or full-time living. We're only less than three miles away from the Walmart. We're near uh, Dixfield, uh, Rumford. We got a lot of amenities in a close area here, but you're also super private, no neighbors left or right. Alrighty folks, we're walking down your 300 plus foot driveway. As you can see here, we got nice gates. We got the power coming off the Dickville Road coming down here. so. The cabin is really nicely set back here. Really private, quiet, beautiful little setting. You can't see anything from the road. Um, speaking of the road, we got about 570 feet of road frontage up there on the Dickville Road. As you saw, paved, maintained, year-round power, high-speed internet up above as well. Uh, we got pretty good cell phone service out here. Um, and some quick little facts about uh, the area. So we're in Peru, Maine. Uh, there's about 1,500 people here from I think the last census in like 2020. So smaller uh, knit community. Uh, you're right down the road from like Rumford, which is, hi buddy. You're right down the road from Rumford, which is gonna have Walmart, it's gonna have a hospital, it's gonna have some restaurants, bars, all that kind of amenity stuff. So you're within 15 minutes of a hospital and pretty much anything that you would ever need out here, which is great. Um, another little fun deal is about a uh, half mile, a little bit less from the driveway is the uh, trail system for the ATV snowmobiles. So you can ride right down the road and connect onto the trail system here. But you can kind of see we're coming into um, essentially the, the, the living quarters where everything's opening up here. Alrighty folks, so we're down here on the, the main part of the complex where you got your 12 by 24 camp. We also have this 12 by 24 storage shed slash tool shop slash um, little area to kind of get some of your projects on the property done here. We'll jump into this one and then we'll show you the outbuildings. And then we'll eventually jump into the camp over there, but we'll start our tour here. And this is a nice little cool feature. This will actually go with the camp. This is a nice generator set up here. Generator is pretty much brand new. So you're ready to rock and roll in case your power goes out up here. Um, we'll jump into this kind of storage shed area here. You can take a look, 12 by 24, a lot of space, obviously. So those of you that are looking to, you know, build more and or have a bunch of projects and stuff, hobby farming, things that you need to do, it's going to be a great area to do it in. Plenty of space, plenty of ceiling height. You got electric in here as well. Um, not insulated, but a really great spot with no, no problem putting a little electric heater in here and probably having a really comfortable place in the winter to get your projects done. I mean, as you saw up above, the power comes down off of the Dickville Road, comes right into here. We got our meter box, we got our circuit breakers and everything, um, feeding both the storage shed here. And this is the 12 by 24 camp that's very well insulated for season use. Um, we'll get into that in a second. We'll go over here really quick. This is actually really nice. Um, this is actually a 53 foot tractor trailer. Um, that the seller converted into uh, another kind of outdoor uh, storage shed, if you will. This is completely sealed up. Um, this could be easily another workshop area. So we'll jump into this and show you what it looks like in there. You can see the ramp, it's super easy access. So we'll open this up and we'll give you a good idea of what this offers you. Uh, this also has electric going to it. As you can see here, seller has uh, a really nice um, four-wheeler in here with a trailer. I mean, again, 53 feet long. It's sealed right up, nice and dry. Um, behind me is that 12 by 24 camp that's on the property, obviously. So we're gonna save that for a second. We're just gonna do some more of this outbuilding tour here. So uh, real quick, we got um, a really awesome little chicken coop area. Uh, the chickens are no more, but for those of you looking at like hobby farming or something, you know, you're trying to have some of your own chickens, you're already set up. You already got a nice little fenced in area. You got the little shed here for 
you know, your eggs, your roosting, all that sort of stuff right there. Um, this is actually really cool too. So this is another, another little mobile, essentially um, office slash storage space here. Uh, this has electric going to it. it. Does have a hot water heater on the back there. You have to hook up the water and stuff to it. But as you can see in here, um, this has been converted. So this has, um, you know, a nice sink. It's got a shower in here. It's got the electric hookup. I mean, you're ready to rock and roll. It's on a trailer. It's on wheels. So if you wanted to move it, um, you could do that as well. And then on the back of it here, uh, you can see it's got a nice little roll-up garage door. Um, and there's probably probably about 15 feet of this or so is going to be another kind of storage slash um, like tool shop area in the back of it. So there's a dug well on the property. Um, seller, like I said, lives here full time, uses water every day, all day. Uh, has never had a problem with quantity or quality. So really nice feature to have this dug well on the property, spring fed. Well, over here is actually this dug well um, building essentially. So the seller's done a really good job of making sure that this is well insulated um, and good to go. So you can see in there, I'll get out of your way. But again, never had any problems quality or quantity wise. It's a really good setup. They got the electric going in here to make sure that things are um, being circulated and not freezing. It's at least three tiles deep, so about 12 feet at a very minimum. We'll walk back over. And we're gonna jump into that main cabin now, 12 by 24. And then we'll turn our focus on to the land and then we'll get out to the river frontage. We're gonna jump into the grand finale here, which is gonna be your 12 by 24, uh, four season cabin. Um, so you can kind of come on in here. Again, the seller does live in here full time. Um, so we got R30 insulation on the floor, R40 insulation up top. Uh, you got plenty of windows in here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven windows, six, yeah, six windows in here. Uh, so we're up behind the camp right now. I'll take a little walk over here so you guys can kind of get an idea of where we are. Uh, the Dickville Road is right over there. You can see kind of like the, the compound area right below us here. Small little elevation bump. Uh, the seller actually went ahead uh, I think about 2017 had a, a septic design, a soil test done up here. There has been an approved soil test on this uh, hill right here. So for those of you who may be interested in building more of a full-time house at some point, this is going to be a really great spot for it. Kind of look over this direction anyway. You can imagine putting a nice little house right here, something more, a little bit bigger, family-oriented, something like that. You got some really nice views of these little hills kind of behind the, the property here. So... Uh, this little dimple really does expose quite a bit more in terms of like the views and things of that nature. You kind of see the seller um, at one point had essentially built uh, the road uh, up into here um, and actually went ahead and put in a bunch of uh, the piping and stuff as well. You can see that he actually has a water line, a buried water line going all the way over to that dug well. So really great opportunity to uh, get a good head start on adding another full-time four season building or just hooking up a camper with uh, the well water electric and that sort of stuff here. So we're gonna jump back down on the main road here. You can see this interior road. It actually goes all the way back to um, Spear Stream. We'll meet you over at the water, but cool little area. Let's keep her moving. So I'm walking down that interior road that we've been talking about. This is a really great feature to have on the property here. As you can see, I mean, you could drive a Prius down this thing, no problem. Super flat, very well maintained, great road, giving you direct access back into your water frontage on Spear Stream here. Um, we're walking up to, I'm going to kind of go this way. So here's your outhouse out here. Um, seller has opted to just do the outhouse, didn't go forward with putting in a septic and building the house and all that. And as we kind of continue down the road here, um, some other really fun things about the area. So Rumford, um, which is right down the road here, you know, has the hospital, has grocery stores, Walmart, all that stuff. But from a recreational standpoint, they have Black Mountain as well. Black Mountain is like the third largest vertical drop um, in the state. So there's like two chairlifts over there, a T-bar, they do night skiing, they do concert. It's a super fun, family-oriented, affordable ski area. Also, for those of you 
that are uh, ATV snowmobile enthusiasts. You have over a thousand miles of ATV trails right here in the area between Rumford and the Androscoggin ATV clubs. If you kind of turn this way, you'll see this kind of material that I'm talking about here. I mean, this is, this, you know, I'm not, I'm not the Sandman here, but this is really exceptional gravel and sand. A lot of beautiful material right here on site um, to be able to handle any of that infrastructure or new builds that you would want to do on the property. Or if you just wanted to build a dirt bike track or a sweet jump, something like that, you could do that. We're going to keep walking, keep sweating it out. We'll get out here. We'll show you what the spear streams look like. And then we're going to walk through the woods a little bit more, give you an idea of what this landscape is offering. 300 yards from the cabin window to this big old saw blade uh, target here. So uh, you can see we're all the way pretty much on the back of the property. Spears Stream is literally right over there next to the campfire campsite area. You can see the seller's got his game um, hanger right here. So if you do get a deer or something like that, you got a place to dress it and a beautiful setting to do all that in. You got your fire pit, you got some of the you know pallets for your wood storage, but this is the real ticket. Um, you know, when you hear the word stream, you're generally thinking of some little trickle of a thing and nothing really serious. This is the complete opposite. I'd essentially call this uh, a river. Um, it does come off the Androscoggin, um, super wide. This is easily swimmable, fishable kayak canoe. And you got 2,500 plus feet, almost a, you got a half mile plus of this water frontage. Really fun little recreational spot out here, a couple hundred yards away, 300 yards away from the cabin and the main compound. Uh, we're gonna now jump on. The seller's done a really great job of creating some trails along the, the stream's edge here. So we're gonna walk those. We're gonna show you the interior of this wood lot as well. Show you some more sections of the river. Then we'll meet you back at the house. All right, we are on the Spears Stream Trail, as I like to call it. Uh, the seller has uh, a fun little trail here on the stream's edge that meanders uh, throughout the property here. Uh, there's a bunch of these little, I'll call it like little jetties or areas, uh, these little fingers that it kind of shoots off into here. You can see the, the stream is actually on both sides of us now. So here's one finger of it. It kind of goes out here, the stream wraps around it, and it just kind of does this like zigzagging um, throughout the property here. You can see primarily looking at a softwood dominated forest. Uh, there's quite a bit of, uh, of pine standing up here. Actually may even be some value in the timber that's standing here, some really big candle pin pine. We're gonna keep moving along. We're gonna keep walking on the stream's edge here and uh, show you a little bit more of what's out here, but not a lot of undergrowth. As you can see, these big tall pines have really kind of shaded out all the small stuff. Um, so you can really walk super comfortably through the property. Uh, so we're on the interior of the property here. Spear Stream is doing its little zigzag uh, along us here. This is one of the, the bigger uh, wooded areas here. It's, it's really awesome, I'm sure. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell or not on camera, but you can really see straight through the forest. Great bedding area or like a deer yard spot here with the way that it's kind of, it's got this, this growth around it. It's got some good food. It's got the river or the stream. I keep saying river because it looks like one. So you can see here, I'm behind you guys, but we figured we'd show you the ATV trail that the seller made that kind of snakes through the property here and follows the stream's edge. Uh, really nice path. I mean, for those of you, even if you had a golf cart, you know, it'd be super fun. Come out here with a couple beverages and, uh, you know, a couple snacks and come and sit out and, and enjoy a, a like quiet evening out here on the stream. You know, it'd be a great, Great trail to just walk every morning with the dogs or a coffee or something like that. Uh, you can see here the seller put a little ATV bridge in. The landscape out here is, is really great. I mean, it's pretty much grass and then it's for the most part mature trees. Over on this section too, there's actually a lot more hardwood. Um, looking up at the camp canopy here, there's quite a few maple. There's quite a few oak out here as well. It's a really great area. Um, to just kind of hang out, have fun, get away from everything and enjoy the uh, the sounds of nature and the water. Um, over in this corner here of the property, you can see a little bit of beaver work here. Um, but man, I 
I love this stream. I mean, this is, it might as well be a river. I mean, what a beautiful place. Crystal clear water. You can see right to the bottom. It's 10, 12 feet deep in some of these holes here. I mean, Stump and Chili are having an absolute blast. You're not worried about neighbors or anything weird going down. Your animals can be off leash and just, you know, enjoy themselves out here. Animals and or kids, whichever ones you have. If you have both, they can both go wild out here. You can imagine putting a little gazebo or some sort of a little platform. Man, little fire pit, couple chairs. It's hard to beat. Come out here and be peaceful and quiet. You can shoot guns. You can, you know, set up some stands, shoot some nice deer, do some fishing, run side by side. They bang, bang. Sorry, there's two ducks. That just got me fired right up. A quick couple things on the property as well. You got $420 a year in annual property taxes. Uh, we have an asking price of 185000 which is a great deal for this place and what you're getting with it. 23 plus or minus acres, um, some really easy survey pins or not survey pins, but flagging and stuff that are around the property. So it's really easy to know your boundaries, including the stream's edge here. Really loving this area. I love how it kind of meanders through. I love the size and the water and the depth, the what it kind of presents. It's not a stream, it's more of a river. You got all the recreational opportunities you really can't beat it i don't know what else to say so we're over here on the edge of the property um spear stream is right behind me or i should say right to my left right here um where we just were was, is right over there i can see that little uh, jetty that's over there uh you can see like I was, I was saying in terms of finding your boundaries on the property super super easy um nothing's hidden you got paint you have flagging going all the way down the side the river the stream is your boundary on that side and then it kind of pinches up to where the cabin is and up to the road frontage there as you're walking through the woods it, i mean it's very easy the the flagging is here there's some no trespassing signs um, on the trees and stuff walking through here so for those of you wondering you know you really want to know where your boundaries are and what you're able to get into this is going to be a great spot for it all righty beautiful people it's getting to that time in the tour where we're going to wind down and exit uh, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, share. That's uh, what we're doing it for, for you guys. So, you know, if you're liking what we're doing and the videos we're putting out, uh, please hit that subscribe button. So quick recap, we are at 114 Dickville Road in Peru, Maine, small little town in Western Maine. You're sitting on 23 plus or minus acres, uh, 2,500 feet of water frontage on Spear Stream. Uh, you have some really great soils here. You can do some intense farming on this property. Uh, we'll share a little soil map uh, from MapRite, like, I don't know, like right here or something like right now. So you guys can see that. We already have a, an old approved uh, soil test for a septic and a house to be put up here. We're looking at a 24 or a 12 by 24 cabin, 12 by 24 outbuilding. You got a 53 foot trailer that's been converted into storage. Uh, you got the other outbuilding that has your sink and your shower in it. You got the outhouse. Uh, you're looking at a probably about a quarter mile, maybe even a half mile long road from the Dickville Road all the way back to the waterfront. Some great walking trails, ATV trails. We're looking at a asking price of $185,000. We have annual property taxes at $420. You got a year round maintained paved road with electric, cell phone service, high speed internet. Uh, you really have it all. If you like recreating, you like ATVs, you like hunting, you like fishing, you want a cabin, or you just want to be 15 minutes away from Black Mountain so you can take the family skiing, you're about an hour from everything recreationally and kind of fun-wise is that you would want, including an international airport in Portland or Bangor. So really special property. It's really packing a big punch. We hope that you guys enjoyed the tour today. And as always, we'll see you at the next one on down the road. Giddy up.